I'm Dump Truck DS. Welcome back to a new edition, finally, of Must Play Quake. On May 21st, 2021, a unique and overlooked Quake project called Church of the Unholy was released on Funk Message Board. Only a handful of people played it, and then it just faded away. Which is really a crime, because Inky's Church of the Unholy, in my opinion, is must play Quake. <laughs> There is one reason the project was all but ignored by the Quake community, a fatal flaw if you will. It's a good lesson for anyone who maps or mods Quake, but we'll get to that part of the story later in the video. I was lucky enough to playtest this before its release, and at that time, there were a couple of serious bugs that needed to be sorted out. But even after I completed that first playthrough, I was blown away. This isn't just a mod. It's a loving tribute to many of id Software's games from the 90s, filled with old-school gameplay, a lot of humor, Hexen-style puzzles, and some epic cutscenes. I don't usually do Let's Plays because I don't like to spoil things for potential players, and in this mod there are some huge surprises and set pieces I really don't want to give away. You simply have to experience the totality of this for yourself. Inky comes from the small but determined Hexen 2 Mapping Community and hosts a website called Inky's Hexen 2 Mapping Corner. There you can find their epic Hexen 2 mod called Wheel of Karma that's a sequel to the Portal of Pravis mission pack. I asked Inky for some info on Church of the Unholy for this video and their answer was so complete I've decided just to read it to you here with a couple of edits. I discovered Quake in 1998 and was too accustomed to Doom and Raven Software's game's vibrant colors to enjoy what people refer to as a study in brown. Everything looked the same to me at the time. A few months ago, I rediscovered the game and simply fell in love. Now I was ready to understand its eerie appeal and amazing richness. Because I missed 25 years of expansion packs and custom maps and mods and enhancements of all kinds, all my Quake culture basically revolves around the vintage 1990s. So I wanted to put all my love for that blessed era by paying tribute to the game's vanilla aesthetics with intentionally rough brushwork, including some nods to emblematic pieces, a catalog of various atmospheres found throughout the original maps, except for the overused runic theme, and a strong emphasis on Sandy Peterson's Elder World, my absolute favorite. The tribute extends to the hilarious Dank and Scud webcomics of the same era, to id's former franchises, and indirectly to the Hexen series too. I see this mod as a big, big thank you to all the guys having illuminated our lives during the blessed 1990s with an incredible magic which is still shining nowadays more than ever. It took Inky four months to put this together with custom code from Hexen 2 and a few other Quake mods. Which brings me to its near fatal flaw. Church of the Unholy requires the FTE Quake engine to run and that's why very few people have played it. FTE simply isn't as popular as some other Quake engines. To add insult to injury, there were some certificate issues with the website at the time that prevented some browsers from entering the site or in other cases, FTE gave false positives to the antivirus software. All these issues have been addressed as far as I can tell, and now there's an update to the mod that includes the FTE engine in the download. Now you can download the mod, unzip it into your Quake folder, and run a batch file to get playing quickly. So why require FTE? Well, FTE can play Quake 1, 2, and 3, as well as Hexen 2. Because of Inky's depth of knowledge of Hexen C scripting, they were more comfortable with FTE and could only pull off some of the larger set pieces in that engine. I hope to have a more in-depth video on FTE sometime this year, so stay tuned for that. My only real criticism of the mod is that there's quite a bit of backtracking and hunting, which is more like the Hexen series than your typical Quake content. But many of the punchlines to these searches are well worth the time spent. Also, there's a great storyline throughout that pays off at the end beautifully. So go check out Church of the Unholy, which is linked below, and feel free to leave spoiler-free comments. I'd love to hear if you enjoyed this one as much as I did. Also, do you think releasing a mod that requires a specific engine is a good idea? I'd love to hear your thoughts below. Inky's working on an in-depth article uh, for their website that explains in detail all the uh, 
references, all the game references and humor references, and some of the technical issues that went into creating this mod. When that's available, I'll post for my subscribers and I will also update the description below. Until then, thanks for hanging in there. We'll see you in the next video.